Drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel in the next five seconds if you guys want Columbo's to return in season two. Fortnite season three, chapter three is only two weeks away and we already know so much more than you realize. We have new leaks about collabs next season, new POIs on the season three map, battle pass skins and even gameplay of the moon in the live event early. So make sure you guys are watching to the very end of the video because this video is jam packed with information. But real quick, 80.6% of you guys are not subscribed to the channel. So make sure you guys do hit that big red subscribe button down below to help me reach 1 million subscribers before season 3 and remember I do get 5 subscribers every single day to people who do drop a like on the video turn on all notifications and leave a comment with the epic ID down below so I can add you guys and remember if you guys are picking up anything from today's I'm shop for yourself please look at using my support credit code Apple one as it literally takes one second to put into the I'm shop and it is the best way to support me the extra mile hope you guys do go and enjoy the video though but let's get into it so guys, really quick, today Fortnite have confirmed their next big collab being Fortnite X Pac-Man, which honestly, I can't lie, is going to be so, so cool. Releasing on Thursday, the 2nd of June, the last day before Season 3, with an exclusive Pac-Man rewards and cosmetics coming to the item shop, which is going to be amazing. Let me know in the comment section below if you guys are excited for this brand new collab. This is probably one of the biggest collabs Fortnite have done because they have done so many big ones in the past, but this one is going to be extra special. But starting off with all the new information, Last night, the Collider did another energy pulse and has actually charged up one of the lights on the device. After every energy pulse now, these lights will start to light up until it's completely charged and that is when the live event will start. It's going to be really cool to see how powerful the Collider does get throughout all of these charges. So make sure you guys are paying close attention to the Collider because we will be seeing more energy pulses throughout the days and even more lights get lit up. Another skin cup is happening on Wednesday for a chance for you to unlock the brand new FNCS skin early and for completely free in a brand new new duos cup so make sure you guys are playing in this like all the other cups you'll roughly need above 130 points to acquire the skin and i can't lie this fncs skin is absolutely insane you also want to be unlocking your fncs rewards for this season as well so make sure you guys are going to watch the fncs over on twitch link in your twitch account with your epic games account or just loading into the legends landing to acquire some of your fncs rewards because they are absolutely amazing the cube queen will be making a return very soon as she is not dead but hurt currently recovering from the islands flip as she obviously was trying to annihilate reality. So it looks like she will be appearing in this live event or next season, but it also does mean the cubes will be making a comeback as well. The cubes aren't dead just yet, so we could be seeing Kevin once again on the Chapter 3 Island. This time, might be seeing more of Blevin. And we have been collecting blue shards of him in Season 1, so we might be seeing more of the cubes come back, and also the Cube Queen will be returning. I'm not sure if she's coming back this live event, or maybe even next season. And here's a basic plot of the live event. We'll have a major fight between the Imagined Order and the Seven, and then something major will happen. That major something is us going to the moon to recover the mech suit that the Seven have been rebuilding. If you guys are looking in the lobby, you guys can see this is a base on the moon rebuilding the mech suit, bro. It's absolutely amazing. We're going to be visiting this location in today's video, so make sure you guys are watching the whole way through, because I'm telling you, bro, it is absolutely amazing. But some of the map changes next season, it looks like we will be seeing the zero point within this live event, as the Z P file has been added again, also known as a zero point. So expect a new location with the exposed zero point next season with a new biome code named Daisy that Hypex has found in the files, which I'm actually very excited for. We haven't had a brand new biome in a very, very long time. Tilted Towers will be getting rebuilt again in next season because as you guys know, from the war between the Imagined Order and the Seven, they managed to destroy Tilted Towers again. I don't know what Fortnite were thinking because it was the perfect POI. Honestly, the perfect POI we haven't seen in a long time. And the last time Fortnite destroyed Tilted Towers, we got Neo Tilted, which was one of the best versions of Tilted Towers we have got. So it looks like next season we will be getting a brand new version of Tilted Towers, possibly an upgraded version of Neo Tilted, which I am so, so hyped for. The Daily Bugle looks to be getting removed next season, finally. We're not too sure what's going to be going here, but with the Paradigm returning for this live event, we might be seeing a new workshop for her, or like a base in the lava for her, as the Daily Bugle is on top of a volcano, which I am extremely excited for. So we could be seeing a new POI for the Paradigm next season replacing the Daily Bugle, but the Daily Bugle looks to actually be going next season. We then have some Battle Pass skins for all of you. As you know, next season we'll run into the Summer season, so expect some new Summer Battle Pass skins. Obviously, we got a brand new skin survey the other week, and some of these skins could also be coming into the item shop like this Summer Raz skin, the Summer Goff skin. The Summer Raz skin looks really, really cool, but last year we were supposed to be getting a Summer Ripley skin that actually never released. So he might be coming 
coming out in next season's Battle Pass, which I can't lie, would be an amazing skin to see. But Ford are also working on a brand new Peely skin, which might just mean this summer we might be getting Summer Peely. From the poster we saw years ago, it looks like he might be coming into Season 3's Battle Pass, which I am extremely excited for. Make sure you guys are dropping a like on the video if you guys are excited for Summer Peely to come into the game. Darth Vader's file name was seen in a recent Unreal Engine 5 trailer saying Chapter 3, Season 3 Vader, and then confirmed shortly after to be in the Season 3 Battle Pass. We don't know if it's going to be the Tier 100 skin or the Secret skin for next season. Either way, Darth Vader is coming in Season 3, which I am so, so hyped for. Let me know in the comment section below if you guys are excited for Darth Vader. Prisoner Jonesy is looking to be coming out of one of the Battle Pass skins very soon as well, as we now have official files of him in the game as a playable character. So be on the lookout for Prisoner Jonesy possibly coming into the Season 3 Battle Pass, which I honestly can't lie, this skin looks amazing. Hopefully you guys are excited for this, bro. It's going to be one of the best skins Fortnite have ever released. And then we're also going to be seeing some random skins Fortnite like to add in. Maybe even the new Paradigm skin. She might be the secret skin for next season, as she has planned to return for this live event like we talked about earlier. So hopefully we do get to see the Paradigm either in next season's Battle Pass or as a brand new live event reward, because we will be seeing live event rewards for this event. So make sure you guys are strapping in, because this event and next season is going to be absolutely insane. But now it's time to go to the moon from the live event early, and this is how you do it. You guys want to put in this creator code, 55402860, and then you want to put in 4569, and then you'll be able to go to the moon. As you guys can see here, seven space base, this is the brand new location for the 7, bro. It's pretty cool. We're going to load into one right now, and I'm very, very excited to check it out. So, guys, as you can see, we are now in the sevens base. You guys can see the mech there getting rebuilt, just like from the lobby, bro. This is one of the craziest places we've ever seen. As you guys can see, we are in space right now. And inside here, you guys can see this is where we were actually seeing it from in the lobby. As you guys can see, this is the window you do see in the lobby looking out to see the mech getting repaired. I think it's one of the craziest locations we've ever seen. As you guys can see, this is really, really well made. It's a completely new seven base. We're going to head over here to see if there's actually something over here. We're just going to explore this for a little while because this is absolutely incredible. As you guys can see, outside of here is actual space, which is absolutely amazing. You can't get out of there, though. But as you guys can see, bro, the mech is currently getting rebuilt in space. There's ice even here from the lobby. Bro, this is one of the best locations we've ever seen. Over here as well, by the back, I imagine this this is where we'll actually take the mech suit out in the live event, which I am extremely, extremely excited to do. Hopefully, you guys are excited, bro, because honestly, this location is one of the best locations we've ever seen. Let me know in the comment section below if you guys are excited for the live event. We're just going to quickly wrap around here. It looks like there's nothing much exciting around here except for all these space rocks. There is all these space rocks in the game files as well, as you guys can see here. These are all rocks in the game files confirming we will be going to the moon. But this is the brand new mech location, man. It looks absolutely amazing. I wish you could actually go inside here. I'm going to try and get inside here. I'm not sure if you can though, but as you guys can see, this is the mech getting rebuilt right there. Looks absolutely amazing, bro. This base is insane. I'm very excited to go here in the live event, but this is how you do get here early. Can you go inside here? Oh, you can go inside the base. Bro, it turns off low gravity. Oh my god, I didn't know you could go inside here. So, as you guys can see, this is what we do see from the lobby background. You guys can see all the ice up there, the mech getting rebuilt. It is absolutely amazing. Inside here are all of the spare parts to be rebuilding the mech. As you guys can see, one of the legs is up here, the arms right there to fit on the other side, bro. There is so much cool stuff in here. We've got the other arm. I'm not quite sure where the other leg is, though. It looks like that's possibly still getting transported up here. I want to go up here into the office area. This looks really, really cool. Cool. What's on here, bro? Holy. This place is insane, bro. This isn't the leg. This is just something to put it on. We're going to go to the offices right now to actually see what's up here because this place is absolutely amazing. You can't get up here. Oh, you can get up here. I'm just too small. I want to go inside this room, bro. There better be something cool inside this room. I don't want to be disappointed, Fortnite. What's in here? Oh, it's okay. It's literally just an IO file. Why is there an IO file in a 7 base? That is pretty interesting. But this is how you do get in the brand new moon base early. Make sure you guys are putting in this creative code if you guys want to come and check out it. 
make sure you guys are putting in this creative code if you guys want to come check it out because bro this place is absolutely amazing let me know in the comment section below if you guys are excited for the live event but that is everything we have in today's video for you guys hopefully you guys did enjoy remember if you guys are glad to hear make sure you guys do hit that big red subscribe button for me as we are closing in on 600,000 subscribers and remember if you guys are picking up anything from today's item shop for yourself please do consider using my support credit code apple one as it literally takes one second to put into the item shop and it is the best way to support with that extra mile hopefully you guys did enjoy the video about all of the brand new battle pass skins and also some interesting information about the live events well, i've just pulled out a gun is it red bro it's red that is so cool bro but yeah hopefully you guys did enjoy the video and i'll see you guys in the next one peace